Hi everyone and welcome back to Artful. Today we're doing a colour blend with our vinyl stickers. The first thing you want to do is create a rectangular printing area with one of our larger vinyl stickers. You're aiming for it to be as flat as possible against the outside of the screen. And for the typography, we're using the type stickers from the pack in the box. We're actually going to be doing a colour blend tutorial for you today for the words Art is Life. You'll see that the screen isn't actually touching the paper yet because we're going to flood the screen with our paint before we make our final print. You can use a spoon or a couple of spoons to scoop out the two colours that you'd like to blend together. And then you can use a paintbrush to swell the two colours together to get that nice blend. Remember, it's important to always check that your paper is not attached to the bottom of your screen before you flood it with your paint. This should result in a nice transition between the two colours in your final print. Next, we've got to flood the screen, holding your squeegee at a 45 degree angle towards yourself. Then all you need to do is pull the squeegee towards yourself in one smooth motion. Now the screen is properly flooded, you can place the screen on top of your paper holding the squeegee towards yourself at a 45 degree angle and making sure the rubber flexes towards you and once again you're pulling the squeegee towards yourself in one smooth motion. When you're reprinting your colour blends make sure you keep your squeegee in the same area because this will help keep your blend smooth. And again when reflooding your screen make sure it's not touching any surface or is stuck to the paper underneath. And there's your first version of the print finished. And if you work quickly, because the screen's flooded, you can make several versions of the same print. It's important you work quickly though, otherwise your paint could dry into your screen. Flood your screen after each print so you're ready for the next one. But whilst you're flooding it, remember to rest your screen up away from the tabletop or the paper. You'll notice that the more colour blends you do, the smoother the blend between the two colours will be. So don't worry if you don't get it on your first go. If at first you don't succeed, try and try again. And this is especially true with screen printing. If you want to make lots and lots of versions of the same print but you find your paint is starting to dry a little bit, you can add a tiny bit of water just to kind of reactivate that paint. Here we've added a bit more red paint to the top of our screen, just so in our next print the colours blend a bit more evenly. As long as your screen is flooded, you can keep printing. But as soon as you're finished printing, do not leave your screen. You've got to wash it immediately. Otherwise that paint will very rapidly dry into the mesh. Again, I cannot stress enough how important it is to wash your screens thoroughly after you finish making your print. If your paint dries into your screen, it could ruin your screen for future prints. So please, please be thorough. Just a couple of minutes with some hot water and some washing up liquid and a sponge should do the trick. And there's our vinyl sticker tutorial pretty much finished. Stay tuned for some more screen printing tips coming up on our YouTube channel very soon. And until then, why not watch some of our other art tutorials either on YouTube or on artful.co.uk. Thank you very much again for watching and I'll see you again soon with a new tutorial.